out of the sea wish I could be part of the world. What's up you guys? So for today's video we're gonna be reviewing The Little Mermaid. So this live action came out Friday. <laughs> So of this year 2023 so this is a live action and they've actually been working on this movie for four years so i was hoping to like it when i went to go see it which was yesterday so hallie bailey was the star which is ariel you know the little mermaid and then melissa mccartney i believe uh she was playing ursula and then we had uh jana or Jono, Jonah, <laughs> we had Jonah uh, play Eric, Prince Eric. So that's like the main character. Overall, I love the movie. I love the movie and it made me a little emotional. It like in two, like where she's singing and then towards like the end, it made me a little emotional. So, uh, and first I'm gonna say the things that I didn't like about it. It's, I know the point of a live action is to do like you know real characters real life you know scenarios stuff like that um but i feel like the whole point of sebastian was like for him to have like emotion you know when you see the little mermaid the, the animated one in 1989 like sebastian is like you can't have like a real crab have that like, emotion so um but they did a really good job with like what he said and how he said it in jokes and stuff like that so anyway the one thing I want to state is Flounder. It looked a little whack to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it was almost funny. Like, uh, like you know, when, when they show Flounder speaking and he's like just a fish, just like, just a fish, you know, like the real life fish, but it speaks. So it's kind of weird to me, in my opinion. But anyway, the other thing, the last thing I want to say is Eric's singing part in the movie. I didn't really care for it. I'm sorry. <laughs> um... He's a great actor in the movie and everything, but just his part, this little part where he's singing and he's like walking along the beach and he's like running along and stuff like that. I didn't really care for that part. I know that the movie was um, directed by the Chicago, by the person who directed like the Chicago the musical. So, you know, that the movie, if you love music, if you love singing and dance, like if you love all that stuff, you're going to love this movie, obviously, you know, because that's what The Little Mermaid is about. That's what we know the whole movie, like part of that world and uh, kiss the girl and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, so yeah, I just didn't really care for Eric's, you know, um, Prince Eric's singing part. But anyway, so enough with the negatives, you guys. Uh, that's the least of the negatives. So that's very minimal in my opinion. Um, like I said, overall, I love the movie. Those two scenes that got me emotional were like, you know, she's like, making amends with her father or like she's thanking her father and just things like that um and then the other thing was when she's singing part of that world and like it just i don't know what it is but i was thinking i'm like what is it that makes you like so attached or so drawn when she's singing like you're just like like that you know and it's just like basically she sings it with emotion and when she's singing part of that world like she's just very she really 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 puts the emotion in it and just like the original 1989 movie it's just like she's longing to be part of that world and she's like she just it's really expressive is what i'm trying to say when she's singing so it's i can't even imagine doing that like acting and singing at the same time that's very like it's probably very very hard but anyway um like i said they worked on this for four years so it's like you know she had all the time in the world to take the time and master her craft and all of that stuff so anyway but her part so Hailey bailey in this you guys was amazing her singing was amazing and i just want to make one thing clear because i feel like a lot of people don't really know this Hailey bailey is a singer first she's not an actress first when she did this role she was asked if she wanted to sing like how she wanted to get started with her like her uh character and she was like they asked her if she wanted to sing or act first you know like the scenes and stuff like that and immediately she was like i want to sing that's my thing you know like she's a singer i read online before i even saw the movie that a lot of people were like saying that she's lip syncing or they just didn't feel like she was actually singing and it's like 
she did that much of a, she did that good of a job because she really wanted to make it she wanted to keep it original but she wanted to disney basically let her add her own twist like her own little uh oomph to it you know what i'm saying so anyway uh that's why it's so good and it sounds so close to the original one because she really made she made it that way you know they they uh purposely made it that way so anyway the other thing i really enjoyed was like just the way uh when the, when they started singing and dancing it was like spectacular like it was really a show they really put on a show hi thomas and um you know it was just a good musical moment you know so but yeah you guys i really enjoyed the movie overall um i honestly would Honestly, I would pay to go see it again, uh, which, by the way, this time, uh, shout out to Stephanie and Mike. Uh, those are the owners of the campground I live. But basically, they got tickets online and we all went yesterday. So that was really cool of them to do that because I really wanted I've been wanting to see this movie, but I just I don't like going to the movies alone. Like I said in my pet previous video. So it's just, you know, I didn't want to go with somebody and then they think like it's a date or something. So I just I was like. So I went with them yesterday and basically, yeah, the movie was spectacular. Um, oh, so before I forget, again, I want to state that Ursula, Melissa, she really, really, really bodied Ursula. She did a spectacular job. Like, she deserves a raise, okay? Because she really, she, like, I, at first I was like, okay, she's a comedian, you know? So I, I wasn't sure, like, how, I honestly, I was like, throwing a little shit i was like okay you know how are they gonna have her play her so like she's a comedian it's not gonna work she's not gonna take it serious or like you know you need someone it's like a villain so it's like you just she doesn't in my eyes i don't see her like a villain role or like type of person you know who would play that but anyway she was great she bodied that she sang her part she danced her part she did everything herself uh she was asked if they wanted like somebody to do that part where she's dancing and singing but she was like, no, I want to do it. So she actually did it herself. So that was really cool to know. Um, but yeah, you guys, I definitely love it, you know. And I seen, you know, I seen, it was weird because I seen so many videos of people saying that they just really didn't care for it. And it was bland and this or that. And, but the one thing that I will say is that every single person couldn't deny the fact that Halle Bailey, like she sang, she sang, sang, sang part of that world she completely bodied it she really made you feel that emotion uh yeah like i i just i'm satisfied very very satisfied with how they who they chose for uh ariel in this movie yeah you guys like i said everything else was all right oh and then the scuttle you know, the bird you know like the seagull or whatever like he had his part where they were rapping and i i was overwhelmed like i it was <laughs> It was almost cringe because it wouldn't stop. It was very loud. It was a lot. It was a lot of energy. It was like Jojo Siwa times three. Okay. Yeah, like that. <laughs> so that was very, very like boom in your face. So anyway, uh, it was kind of funny though. Like, you know, I if you have kids who love singing and dancing in musical, they would love that part. So anyway, you guys, that's it. I just wanted to give my review on The Little Mermaid live action 2023 starring Halle Bailey um and I would definitely go see it again oh I give it like four out of five stars you know um like I said a few things could have been better I feel I honestly I feel like what would have made it better is if they would have just left flounder and um the crab you know they would have just left them at, like they would have just I don't know did it differently not I guess, you know, that's the whole point of a live action. It's hard to say because it's like, you know, they would have changed it. Maybe people would have been happy. I don't know. Like, they really should have just made it just or animated or something. But anyway, uh, that's it, you guys. I just want to say that um, I really enjoyed the movie. Uh, shout out to Stephanie and Mike again for taking me. <laughs> I, I have been waiting for this movie to come out for a while. So but that's it, you guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, comment below if you saw the movie. If you want to see the movie, uh, what what did you think about it? If you would go see it again. If you didn't like it, uh, either way, I want to hear what you want to say. So feel free to comment below. And that's it, you guys. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.